Hello everyone, this is Entertainment Buddy, and today I'm going to be diving deep and talking more about Series of Unfortunate Events Season 2, and specifically I'm going to be explaining some things you guys might not have understood. One of the things I'm going to talk about is the VFD, the mysterious group that uh, is a big part of Season 2. And, you know, maybe you haven't read the book in a while and you kind of, after watching Season 2, are a little confused. I'm going to bring you guys all up to date on that, as well as talking about the Sugar Bowl, which is one of the more mysterious aspects of the second season. But, uh, first of all, right off the bat, I need to say that if you've not watched Season 2 yet, I recommend you probably leave this video because there are going to be some spoilers in here, most likely. And so, um, if you don't watch the newest season, that's your warning. Get out. Um, but for those of you who have watched it, let's get to talking about it. Let's get to discussing. And so... Starting off with the VFD stands for the Volunteer Fire Department, and the way the way this the TV show puts it and kind of explains it is that uh, this was a group that uh, put out fires, and um, some of the people we know who are in this group were Violet, Klaus, and Sonny's parents, the Baudelaires, and then we have uh, their uncle Monty, their aunt Josephine. We have um, the Snicket Brothers, uh, Mr. Poe's assistant. There are a few others, but those are the ones we know of. And basically what this volunteer fire department did was they put out fires. Basically they were a group of people who had, they were more than just people who put out fires. They were good people. They they were serviceable. They, they um you know, they were just good people. And you can kind of see that from the TV show. All these people, like even the the Quagmires, the kids that were the same age as the Baudelaires, they're, you know, they, they're really good people and it seems like their parents raised them right before they died and so um, those are the type of people that made up the volunteer fire department originally but then the, it seems that or at least the way the show tells it that the group split up eventually because of a divide one section of the group wanted to uh, you know put out fires and be a good group of people and then another part of the group wanted to start fires and basically arson and that group was led by Count Olaf who was apparently a member of the volunteer fire department at one point and that's why he is the tattoo of an eye it turns out that it's not actually an eye it's a fancy cursive or whatever that says vfd and um it's not just count off who has it um jack snicket has the same tattoo that we can see and believe in one of the episodes um the border layers look out of a look out of look up somewhere and they can see the the tattoo but they mistake him for count off so that they leave but really that's um jack snicket's tattoo and it shows that the eye tattoo is not a symbol of villainy like i think it's painted originally in the in the series but a, a sign of the volunteer fire department and what it once was and um, I don't know. I think it'll be very interesting going into season three. What, uh, what what more we'll find out about the volunteer fire department. It does definitely seem like the group's broken up because most of the people seems like Count Olaf's killed, and um, the ones left. Uh, I'm actually now that I think about it, pretty much everyone Count Olaf has taken out. Whether it's Uncle Monty, whether it's uh, Jack Snicket, and it's very interesting that Lemony Snicket seems to be one of the original members of the group, and that's why he's telling the story. I don't know. Just thought it was, that was interesting, but. But also now down to the Sugar Bowl, which um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's been a while since I've read the books, and so I can't really, I'm going to try my best to explain what it is and what it could be mean for the future of the series. The Sugar Bowl is apparently something that caused the divide between the VFD, it was something they were fighting over, we don't really know why, we just know it has some kind of power, and um, the it seems that um, SS me Esme Squalor, who was one of the Baudelaire's original uh, guardians, she was uh, like the fifth or sixth guardian they had, which I know it's one of the. They've had so many guardians at this point, but um, she really wants the Sugar Bowl after turning evil almost and following with Count Olaf. She, for some reason, obsessed with finding the Sugar Bowl, and I do remember that from the book, but I'm not really sure why. And it, for, as far as the research I've done, the book I don't think gives a definitive answer to what the Sugar Bowl was either. So I don't know. It's very interesting to see how that will play out and what it means for the future of the series. So guys, thank you guys for watching the video today. Tell me what you think about the VFD, the Volunteer Fire Department, as well as the Sugar Bowl. Also, what did you? you think of series of unfortunate events season two i have my review up on my youtube channel if you're interested in checking that out so guys thank you for watching the video today have a great day